Andrea Mitchell's suggestion that Kamala Harris's low poll numbers among black and white men are tied to misogyny, likely a blend of misogyny and racial bias, mirrors a common progressive argument, where criticism of female leaders often gets attributed to gender or racial prejudice. We've got to double down on doing more interviews and serious interviews because what I'm hearing from Democratic and Republican business people and mm -hmm. a lot of men, and she's got such a big problem with men. I mm -hmm. think there's an undercount of the Trump vote. I think there's misogyn misogynation in, in all of this, of black and white men. Big problem, but also the business world. They don't think she is serious. They don't think she's a heavyweight. And a lot of this is gender, but she's got to be more specific about her economic mm -hmm. plans. Yet, policy and competence are often key. Harris's difficulties in resonating with male voters, particularly in business circles, may stem not only from biases, but also from doubts about her leadership and experience. Her vague positions on economic matters and perceived lack of seriousness in policy discussions have fueled skepticism, especially from those who prioritize fiscal responsibility and strong leadership over identity politics. To dismiss these concerns solely as misogyny risks overlooking legitimate critiques about her ability to handle economic issues effectively.